Well, welcome back. So the Eagles had to wait two extra days to play their game against the Washington football team. But as we know, it was worth the wait. Here's one final look at win number seven in our week's best. We got a lot of work done. And so I do believe like the only way you're getting better every day is if you're practicing hard and you're going full speed. And I believe that we did that through the four weeks of training camp. It's a mental approach of, am I attacking every day? Am I doing the things that I need to do to grow? And am I learning from my mistakes? I was really pleased um, with, with him. And then you got to see him. Um, he kind of lost Zach in the middle there. You got to see him break, break contain and, and make a play, play that way with his feet. It feel good just to get out there and just kind of get back in the groove. So, um, just my, my routine before the game and things like that. Um, just to get back out there and just kind of get back to myself. He wasn't feeling great when he came in, and uh, so we, we put him through pregame warm-ups. We just decided that it wasn't in his best interest uh, to play. He went to the hospital to get evaluated um, for, his, for his stomach, and um, like I said, um, they came, came back, everything's good. Just because we're not playing our starters or we're not some of our looks doesn't mean that's not, that's not an excuse. We gotta execute better, we gotta play with better fundamentals. Um, we got to coach better, and we got to put him in, in better position to make plays. Scott breaking a tackle, room on that right side, and a fake is going to take him all the way into the end zone. This is the tenth play of the drive for the Eagles, and through the middle and into the end zone is Kenny Gainwell. Continue to get better, continue to get better, continue to get better. So we have all those points accumulated, so to say, once, once we step into Atlanta. Option it comes out, and it's recovered by the Eagles going back the other way. Touchdown and it stands. Nick Sirianni walking along the sideline as we get set to begin the 2021 season of Eagles football. I just want to execute at a high level. He went left, he went right. And 13 yards this time. I like this offense. Atlanta did a good job of taking it away and making us, forcing us to throw it underneath. Um, but yeah, we get a coverage that we want, and then we, we have the ability to go downfield. If not, Jalen did a good job with his reads and, and taking what the defense gave him. It's a run pass option, and Jalen Hurts runs out of bounds, picks up about 15 yards on the first down. Sometimes you don't get what you think you're going to get. Sure helps when your quarterback can get you out of that of that situation and make a big time play. Another pass caught by Devontae Smith. Just picking away at that defense. I mean, something worked on. I mean, got the look we wanted and he hit it. Back goes Hurts. He is looking. He is firing for Devontae Smith for a touchdown. The first touchdown of Devontae Smith's NFL career. He steps up and starts to roll. He fires, and it is caught for a touchdown by Dallas Goddard. Jalen Hurts looks like he's having fun. Gatewell up the middle. Touchdown for the rookie from Memphis. Really confident with everybody in our room that we can get to the quarterback. The snap to Ryan. Here's the rush. They've got him. They've sacked him. They've got him, Javon Hardwave. When you can uh, hold a team out from getting points, it's always going to change the game. Hey, y'all, they don't score. They don't score, they don't win. The fake. He fires out, Jalen Rager, 10 five, touchdown! Great fight! I love the chemistry that we got going on, and it just feels like a real family in there. The goal for next week is to get better every day, to put yourself in position to be able to win um, at home there against the San Francisco. I didn't do a good enough job of, of, of leading. I didn't do a good, good enough job of running our offense, uh, of doing the things that I need to do. So, it's on me. It was coaching, it was execution. We all had a hand in this. Each and every guy on this team, not only on offense, but defense, coaches, everyone's got to look in the mirror and say, how can I be better? It was pretty brave of them to kind of drop back down there, and um, the coach kind of turned his loose and let the boys go rush. Um, I was kind of going to balance the rush up, saw the ball pop out, and you know, had a chance to make a play, and you know, got my hands on the ball. When your game plan doesn't work and you lose by 20 points, you're obviously going to say, yeah, let's do the opposite thing. The run pass comes up every time you're losing games, I feel like. Um, 
you know, the way the game goes sometimes with, you know, we had a lot of penalties, you're in a lot of long situations where you're trying to pick up huge chunks. It just felt like in the first half it was three and out after three and out after three and out. And I don't know what the exact numbers were, but we just couldn't couldn't stay on the field in the first half. And it's hard to get in the rhythm. Pass interference. Defense. We had some good plays and we had some bad plays and some penalties kept some drives alive. We just got to be better in that part. We had them on offense. We had them on defense. I don't think we had any pre-snap penalties on special teams. Um, it was that is just my frustration. It's still early. We're still young, and so we just got to grow up fast. We gonna flush it and move on. And the standards in this city are what they are. We know exactly what the standards are. It doesn't matter who's that quarterback. It doesn't matter who's that coach. It doesn't matter who's that tight end, center, right tackle. Standards are what they are, and that's the win for Boeing. Sunday's game between the Eagles and Chiefs had a little extra meaning for one woman. It's really surreal. We, we only get to watch it every four years. The last time we were in Philadelphia was eight years ago. Donna Kelsey showed up wearing a split jersey, Chiefs in front, Eagles in back, to support both of her sons. Eagle center Jason Kelsey and Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey. It's special when you have both your boys on the field. They love to play. And I know both of them are very competitive and they're going to want to win. Yeah. It's uh, bragging rights for Thanksgiving. Well, they might have been competitive on the field Sunday, but away from their head-to-head -head matchup, big brother Jason has been a great support system for his younger brother. And the biggest life lessons? Remain um, humble and also to help the community and make sure that you give back. And um, both of them do. Jason gives to the autism challenge, and uh, Travis is uh, helping at his children in uh, Kansas City. They get home, and they're, they're very fortunate. Um, not everybody has the same opportunity, and uh, it's important to get back. And Mama Kelsey is always cheering on their hard work, both on and off the field, and loves that rare moment that she can support them both in the same venue. It's very exciting, and you know, I'll be rooting for the offense, so whoever's not playing offense at the moment, thank goodness they're not hitting each other. I had to stop before I went out and addressed the team. I had a moment with myself and thought about all the, the work that, that got me to this position. We understood that there's going to be plays that's going to have to be made by us, and I'll be straight forward. When we was in a close game, I just felt like everybody just was on the same page and just wanted to go out there and just have fun together. And it was a pretty emotional moment for me to, to see BG limp off the field. Still in the game, coming in at halftime, we just had to eliminate the, the mistakes and all the all the stuff that was holding us back. It was pretty brave of them to kind of drop back down there, and obviously I was kind of going to balance the rush up. Saw the ball pop out, and you know had a chance to make a play. And we got to get that fixed. The ones that you don't like, and the ones that are the most the most troublesome are the pre-snap penalties. You don't sit there, look at it, flush it, and move on. We're going to flush it and move on. The self-inflicted wounds have to stop. And I know I sound the same, but it's still true. Right? we gotta, we got to stop the self-inflicted wounds. You can try to, you know, get in that win column, man. That's an important column, you know? And I need to get that taste out of my mind. Really what that felt like was a complete team win. I have unwavering faith in the guys on this football team and everybody in this building that we have everything we need here. Um, it's just a matter of us putting that together. Disappointing game for the Eagles. At least they came back and showed that they are still fighting. They haven't quit. However, it's too little too late, quite obviously. We have to look at this film and, and be critical of our, ourselves uh, as a whole. Uh, first as players, uh, myself included, and then, you know, as coaches as well, uh, to figure out uh, what's best for, you know, this team and what's going to allow us to win games. The little things that go wrong, I'm a guy that can make it right. That's something I have to do. Um, I have to do a better job of that and doing it consistently. Beaten decisively at the line of scrimmage throughout the game. We're uh, showing a lot of effort on the field, 
you know, we're practicing well, um, but, you know, on Sundays we're coming up short. Well, the seconds will tick off, and a game that many thought winnable for the Eagles doesn't turn out that way. I think we just got to be more aggressive and, uh, you know, up front. I think that starts with me. The games that we've won this year, uh, we've created negative plays. And so today, uh, we didn't create many. Even though the Eagles came back to put some points, some late points on the board, it was never really competitive. We're striving for victory. We're striving for winning. Um, we just have to be better. First and foremost, coming out today and getting a win. Um, so we've been striving for. Obviously, um, coming in this week, we weren't, you know, happy as a team. We weren't. We wanted, you know, the results to be different, but we knew that um, all that starts with practice. We were executing the plays. You know, people were stepping up on third down. Jim was scrambling for first downs. Uh, you know, people were just making plays. That's pretty cool. Uh, punch out the ball, and you know, I'm looking for the ball, and I just see two slate running down into the end zone. So that was I was pretty hyped about that. I saw Jalen jumping up one hand in it, and you know, I was impressed right there. And for him to be able to get that throw off and uh, be able to catch it and do what we did there, it was pretty cool. We went out there, we had fun, we just did our job. That's, that's what it comes down to at the end of the day. That's where the NFL is, man. You know, whenever that opportunity knocks, that's when you gotta step up. Today was round eight for us, and we can. And my message to them was, hey, sometimes it just takes a, a big round. It, take, it takes a round where you cut somebody to, you know, and, to, and a win around to, to build some momentum. Just in the preparation, the preparation, how we challenged each other this week, uh, how we upheld the standard. Now it's another challenge moving forward doing that. Um, again, this week, going, in, going into a home, a home game versus a, a really good team in the Chargers. Great scheme coming in, a great, uh, great execution for the most part. We just, just those, those couple plays, man, we needed them. We got some things I feel like we've done better. Um, I mean, just continue to attack. I mean, watch the film, get better from it. It's a lot of plays um, that I feel like we, if we would have uh, did certain things, uh, we could have got off the field. Whatever happens out there on that field, my name's on. Offensively, defensively, I'm not. I'm not the offensive coordinator, head coach. I'm not satisfied with losing. Never will be. As long as I'm here on this earth. You want to be balanced as offense, where you can do both, and I, I feel like we're getting there. Uh, we're going to continue to chip at that. I do see growth in this football team. I think, I think we all see that. Um, and, and we, but we just got to keep, we got to keep going because again, there's no more victories in, in this league, right? And losses, and losses, and losses, and losses. I'm obviously disappointed and, and frustrated, but there's no give up on anybody. Um, I think we have such good leaders on this team. We, we hold people accountable. There's an urgency around here. There's a want to around here. There's an effort around here. Doing it consistently, coming out and dominating from, from the jump. Today we played in all three phases well today, man. Um, we did better in the red zone, holding the three points that he touched down about two or three times. Uh, offense going down there, getting points. There's no doubt, there's no hesitation on anything that I'm doing out there. I'm just trying to go out there and react to what I see. Just give me a chance to make a play. I mean, that's what we always talk about, having trust in each other and he trusting me. They've been playing, they've been running hard. They're hard to tackle, they're hard to get down. You control the time of possession, and then you can just sl slowly grind them down. The tougher team, the more physical team wins in football. And so it was good to, it was good to be on that side of it um, and, and to see our, our, our physicality. Every down is just play physical, play fast, and play hard. We try to make it quick. That's our mindset. I'm trying to 
trying to score. Every time I touch the rock, I better get to touch it. So when I get to touch it, I'm trying to score. Quick. And I think the belief we have uh, moving forward is, you know, just, just to continue to rise, continue to learn, continue to build, continue to play together. We've been able to string some wins along the other on the road, but, um, you know, we look forward to getting back home and, and getting things going there. Anytime you win a football game in this league on the road, it's, it's tough, and, and we and just had a good time, and uh, I guess my main message was I'll see you Wednesday. I think it was a, a good physical game. Um, that's something that we really wanted to do is be physical in this game. We went out there with a chip on our shoulder knowing that they were the number one defense, uh, run defense in the league. We got three running backs back there that can, that can tow the two, so. You look at the stats, you look at where they are, you look at their defense, but you also want to do what you do well. You got that big dinosaur on you, there's a mulata. Yeah, I get angry too. Attack every day, learn from everything we do. I'm good, better, and different, and just grow from it. You get that L1 juke. I was, just that mean, man, there ain't no way, boy. I thought it was pretty dope that someone threw a jersey at him and he held it up. Yeah, you got Gotti uh, making right hand catches with, with three fingers, so I guess that's pretty cool, too. I love how, how complimenting we're playing. You know, everybody getting their touches in. You know, we're, next thing you know, we're moving down the field, and next thing you know, we're in the end zone. So he caught it, and took it to the house and they know he's at, I, you know, I thought he was a little bit old, but I guess he's still 21. He jumped up on top of that, uh, that link leap. We came in today, we played hard. Um, we had some ups and downs in the football game, but um, in the end we were victorious and we won. We got the Giants, so division game, so, uh, you know, no game is bigger than the next. We could be talking about a fourth or fifth miracle of the Meadowlands. And instead, we're talking about a bigger Eagles defeat. I thought we fought hard. We battled both sides of the ball, special teams as well. Um, just didn't make enough plays to win. It hurts. They didn't do anything to beat us. We beat ourselves. Yeah, you can't turn the ball over four times and expect to win. He's pumping. He's being chased. He throws the football in. It is intercepted at the goal line. Turn the ball over like that. You, you're not supposed You don't deserve to win the game. Teams that are great are the teams that can resort to their fundamentals under pressure. Hurts gives it off to Scott. Up the middle he goes, but he fumbles the football, and the Giants have it. That was a critical mistake at a critical moment in the game. I take that. I take that right to the chin. This is a ball that should have been caught by Jalen Rager. Just, just a drop. You just drop, drop the pass. You can't too much dwell on it, but like I said, just me taking ownership and then moving forward. It's an opportunity to be resilient. Um, it's an opportunity to overcome adversity. That's something we've done before. Um, I have no doubt that we'll do that again. It's about the process, about going back in there and going to work um, and, and getting better from this tape. We have five opportunities left, and it's what we do with them. We got to make the most of them to put ourselves, hopefully, in a position to uh, be where we want, um, and that's in the playoffs. Gardner Minshew, first start as an Eagle. One thing uh, I guarantee you Minshew does not lack is confidence. He went out there and he played a really, really outstanding game. I was really, really happy for, for Gardner. Minshew takes the snap, he fakes, he's back. He's looking, he is firing. It is complete, breaking the tackle and going in for the touchdown is Gardner! You know, I was able to run in space, so. Anytime that happens, it makes it a lot easier and it's fun. Goddard officially has six receptions, 105 yards, and two touchdowns. What a day. This is my first week to ever really you know, throw to Dallas. So, I mean, he's really good. So, yeah, it's pretty comfortable throwing it to him. Kind of go kick by kick. It's kind of my mindset all the time. My comfort level for kicking field goals is obviously very high. 
coming forward again as Sanders breaking free at the 50, at the 45, at the 40, at the 35. Miles Sanders down at the 33. We didn't run, rush for over 200 yards for these last weeks for no reason, so we're just going to stick to the plan and just do what's working. How about 24 carries? for 120 yards. Love it. That's a big part of who we are is the, the type of run game we want and the physicalness and the toughness. Wilson back, looking, looking, firing. Intercepted, there it is. Intercepted by Marcus X. Felt so good, man. It's the best time I've had since week one of last year. There's nothing like that feeling. We'll get the bye week, get rested up, and then four, you know, big time games for us. It doesn't matter if we play on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whoever they tell us to play, we're going to play. You spend all your time being upset about something you can't control, you're putting unnecessary energy in there. Dog mentality. Uh, you know, you can hear the boos from the crowd at the end of the first quarter when we were down 10 nothing. In high school, I lived with the guy that was chewing me out. Jalen's dad coached him hard. My dad coached me hard. And so I think Jalen responds to tough coaching. He likes tough coaching. I just wanted to contribute as much as I can to help this team win. It takes everybody. It, it does. It always starts with offensive line. And we got some, some gritty guys up front. Start the D-line up front, controlling the line of scrimmage the entire game, and then uh, even from the back end, coming downhill and getting in the box and, and making plays. So it was a group effort, for sure. Then back on the field, getting the win, which we needed. Um, you know, first division win um, for this football team this year. Um, couldn't come at a better time. A full team win. Uh, of guys making the play, so uh, started off rusty, but uh, they, they bounced back. Good teams win in December. We already know what's, what's at stake for these last couple of games. Taking it one game at a time. Got a win today. A shorter, shorter turnaround, and um, once I leave here, I, I'm getting ready for New York. Anytime you start off that way and you only score three points in the first half, it's always going to be, you know, we didn't coach well enough for sure. Um, we didn't play well enough. We heard the boos going on. Uh, it was tough, but we stuck with it, hung in there. If you look at this football team right now, and I just think we have so much character. Never any panic. Just always, let's work. Rhythm was off, so once we came back out in the, in the second half and we found that rhythm again, you know, we just kept it going. But we knew what we had to do to win this game. We know what happened, you know, against them last time. We knew that we needed to create plays on defense, and we needed to stop them and you know, kind of step on their throat. You know, I think we responded the right way. Uh, my interception helped, and then uh, we just kept rolling from there. They played incredible, there's no doubt. Uh, the defense kept the, the, the game, the game uh, when, it, when it wasn't going well. I would say the one today was just, just because I was going backwards, so it was kind of like, that's a good time to play Michael Jackson. All I could think was what y'all know about the Texas boy. Lane is an offensive lineman, and big man touchdowns, uh, yeah, everybody loves to see that. It always starts up front, and just a great job by our defensive line, and then triple down to everybody. We know as a football team, if we control the things that we can control, um, it should be all right. We're going to look at the film, we're going to make the correction, and we're going to move on to the next game, because that's the most important part. To be able to persevere and, and show straight grit, Straight grit. We've pretty much been building up to, you know, be able to handle these moments. Uh, especially like, you know, we had a rough start and we got, we got it taken care of. It honestly started with how we played on first and second down. We talked about how we needed to stop the run, uh, force them into some negative plays when we went into halftime, and we did that. We 
just a calmness from our leaders on the team that reflected to everybody else. We're a gritty team. Uh, we're going to run the ball and, you know, we're going to wear a team out by the end of the game and we just got to stick to it. In tough moments in the football game, we found a way to, to, to win today. And I couldn't be, be more proud of this team. Well, I knew I caught it once I, once I secured it, really. When you can win with, a, I guess you say, a walk-off interception, I mean, it, it's pretty special to be a part of. When everybody else, you know, wrote us off when we were two and five, we continue to believe in ourselves. Get invited to the dance. It's time to dance. I'm obviously pleased with the situation that we're in right now, um, controlling our own destiny. I'm really pleased with the way uh, we responded in today's game. To come out and win games like this, it's, it's a total team effort. It's a total team effort, and we, we keep on learning, we keep on growing, we keep on doing the things we need to do. Um, who knows how it could end. Nick Sirianni walking along the sideline as we get set to begin the 2021 season of Eagles football. Back goes Hurts. He is looking. He is firing for Devontae Smith for a touchdown. We got to um, press on. It was coaching. It was execution. We all had a hand in this. The self-inflicted wound have to stop it. This whole year, you know, we, we kind of shot ourselves in the foot. I think we gotta we have to look at this film and, and be critical of ourselves. That's what the NFL is, man. You know, whenever that opportunity knocks, that's when you gotta step up. Whatever happens out there on that field, my name's on it. Offensively, defensively, I'm not I'm not the offensive coordinator, I'm the head coach. We've done well the past few weeks and just gotta keep it up. I better get detected so when I get detected, I'm trying to score. Quick. Yeah, you can't turn the ball over four times and expect to win. It doesn't matter if we play on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whoever they tell us to play, we're gonna play. had to drag him for a little bit, kind of felt like Michael Jackson. I'm obviously pleased with the situation that we're in right now, um, controlling our own destiny. That's been the goal the whole time, getting to the playoffs and, you know, trying to win, a, win it, win it all.